This is uh, Claude Diamond, and this is one of my most popular videos. Um, it's an actual cold call I did with uh, Joe McCall, and um, I'm going to do this as a special project. I'm going to basically break down the different GUTS moves. Uh, GUTS really integrates uh, transactional analysis, understanding the feelings of the prospect, and also remaining mature and adult-like as I ask questions and control the process. What I'm trying to do is have an adult-to-adult -adult conversation here with somebody, try to achieve likability, and also gain information and a commitment. Let's see how I do, and I'm going to analyze this, analyze this as we go through the video. Stay tuned. Here we go. Question, am I calling a realtor? It's a homeowner. Okay, that's all I need. Male or female? Male. Okay, and just interrupting this part, this was a true cold call. I did ask Joe a few little questions, male or female or real estate agent or not, but this is someone I have never spoken to, I knew nothing about. Uh, hey, Ray, this is Claude Diamond, and um, I'm in Winter Park, Colorado. I got your phone number here in front of me. I, I think it's about real estate, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, is, do you have a, a something for sale, or, or why am I calling you? Okay. I'm basically kind of playing um, someone who is naive. I'm playing a role here. Part of being a good gut salesman is being a thespian. And people love to help other people. So instead of just initiating a call with a presentation, we all hear these salespeople do presentations or scripts. I'm basically playing, saying, why am I calling? Um, what's this about? Something to that effect. And I'm hoping that the prospect is just a nice person. People love to rescue. They love to help. And I'm trying to initiate the conversation here by um, acting uh, susceptible, maybe even a little naive. All right, I have a condo kind of kind of That that's that's it. That's it. Okay, is it in and it, and it's located? Yes, I'll say okay. Beautiful, nice park, upscale. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice park. You don't mind if I ask you a few questions about it? I'm looking for something, an investment property in that area. Now, this was the agenda step. Uh, Guts is comprised of three steps. Agenda, qualification, commitment, slash close. By the way, keep an eye on Joe. Uh, look at his reactions during this whole thing. He's about ready to crack up. Um, he, he's, I think this is the first time he's actually seen the Guts demonstrated. If you notice, uh, I said, can I have permission? Can I ask a few questions to find out? Um, and um, most people, I'd say 99% say, sure, I'll answer a question or two, if you set it up the right way. Okay, yeah. No, okay, that's how, how did I get your number, by the way? I have no idea. You must have advertised it somewhere, or? or, or... No, I, I put in, like, for, uh, you know, a couple of, you know, where they say they buy, you'll buy your home and that. Okay, I got your number here. A friend just gave it to me, but it was on, and I don't know what, and I didn't know what it was about. I didn't know anything about it, except I think it was a home for sale. So thank you. I'm a little embarrassed. Okay, um, I told the truth. Um, it was a number that Joe gave me. I didn't know anything about it. And I also said I'm a little embarrassed. I'm trying to put myself in a, a position where I'm uh, tr very transparent uh, with the person um, to try to get them to see me not as the traditional investor or salesperson. Okay, I'm sorry, what was your name again? My name is Claude Diamond, and I'm in Winter Park, Colorado. And I what's that? I said, I know where I've heard that's at. Oh, are you go skiing up here? I've been up there. I had a friend who used to live in Tabernacle. Oh, oh. This is a connection that was just made. Uh, Tabernash is a town near Winter Park. He lives right nearby. And what we're always trying to find is some kind of connective tissue in sales. Is there a way I can um, connect with this person based on we like the same food, we do the same sports, we uh, both lived in Colorado or some other area? It's right down the street from me. I know. Oh gosh! Do you know they have a uh, they have a first class? They have a four star restaurant in Tabernash now. That little town. Oh, 
really? It's really funny. Yeah. Well, the skiing is great here. I'm still looking at tons of snow. Is this your? Uh, you mind if I ask you a few questions about this property? See if we can do business. Um, this prop, uh, this property. It. I ask permission once again. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about this property? Now, what we have is a little bit of likability. Here's one of the rules of guts. People do business with people they like. If they like that person, we all do business with, uh, or we all want to be around someone who we're comfortable with. And you see right away, because of the relationship of the geographic area in Colorado, we have that likability right away. So I go back to the agenda. Can I ask some more questions? Um, uh, what part of St. Louis? In, um, well, it's, it's in a little municipality called Twin Oaks. Twin Oaks. Uh, in like they would call it called the West County area. It's in St. Louis County, actually, it's not the city. It's in St. Louis County. It's um, the western western part of the county, the, the near western part of the county. Can I have an address and I'll Google it? Sure, one time. Autumn Leaf Drive. Nice name. And zip it. One, six, three. Oh, great. Then I can take a look at it on Google and everything. Is it vacant right now? What we're doing right now is the second step of the gut staircase. We're doing qualification. Qualification is based on uh, finding out about the property, its location, its size. Uh, but more importantly, uh, the is there a need? Is there an emotional uh, need or uh, in this property? Um, what's the location? What's the time frame for the selling? Am I dealing with the owner? Is there a mortgage? What do they owe on it? Anything like that. So time frame, money is very important to speak about up front. You'll hear that in the conversation. Um, and we want to find out truly uh, what is the need or greed in this real estate situation? Why is he selling it? Oh, we're living in it. Oh, okay. And why, it's a condo, you said, right? It's a condo, right. Well, it sounds like a, a good schools. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. About how old is it? It's, I want to say it's probably about 30 years old. Okay. A good shape? Yeah, it's in fairly good shape. I mean, it needs, it needs a little TLC. It needs some, probably needs some carpeting. The carpeting needs to be updated. It needs to be painted a little bit, you know. But uh, for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. Sounds like a nice... Why are you selling it? Sounds like a nice place. Because uh, we want to... We, we're moving into a, a ranch home. We're moving into a different home. Okay, but not right away. You have, what, five, six months? Oh, no, we've got, uh, we're actually closing on the other home, uh, the end of May. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I'm okay, that was a real important point there. If you listen, questions are the answers in the gut sales system. And what you heard right there was kind of a redirection question. Oh, you don't need to sell it right away, or there's no rush, or something like that. Or it sounds like a nice home, why are you selling it? Sometimes we ask questions, and that's how we stay in control. But while we're asking questions, sometimes we're going to go. Uh, we're going to do a redirection, which can be positive or negative. Oh, you wouldn't want to sell that home right now, then, if you're living in it, right? Correct, uh, Mr. Seller. And this is part. This is one of the tougher parts to learn in the gut sales method: how to ask the questions the right way, with positive or negative redirection. You'll also hear something else. You'll hear a lot of what we call stroking or nurturing. In transactional analysis, a lot of people, uh, one of the states is the parent state. And a parent is either very critical, remember mom and dad, go clean your room, or you did great. Thanks for, you got an A on your spelling bee. Let's hang it on the refrigerator. So what we're trying to do is be the nurturing parent here and gain towards likability and trust. A friend who once did that, he got he got killed on the double mortgage. Right, yeah, that, that's one of the reasons I wanted to get rid of it, you know. So, yeah, I've got it kind of worked out to where, you know, with cutting a few corners, cutting a few things here and there, I'll be okay for a few months. Okay. If you just heard me, I suggested uh, I had a friend. This is called storytelling. I had a friend who had two mortgages and it killed him financially. And right away, the prospect in this, the seller, uh, said, yeah, we're aware of that. That's probably one of our concerns, too, something to that effect. So you see, you have to find a need, 
You have to create a need or you have to exacerbate a need by asking your questions with redirection, stroking and nurturing, okay, and storytelling. I cannot tell you how important storytelling is in the sale, in the gut sales process. What, uh, what, what, what are you asking for it, if you don't mind me asking? Um, well, I mean, if I could get 140 out of it, I'd be, I'd be more than satisfied. Is that, is, that a, is that a good price for this crazy market right now? Yeah, I mean, there's another one that's listed for sale in the, in the, in the complex for 175 Okay. Okay. The difference between my, my unit, the middle unit, that's an end unit, so. Okay. Let me ask you something. If I wanted to, like, rent it for a year before I bought it, something like that, um, you wouldn't be comfortable with something like that, would you? Now, did you hear you wouldn't be comfortable with that, would you? That is a negative redirection. We go negative and we hope the prospect will, of course, go positive. Sometimes we go positive when we want them to go negative. Do you see how by using our words in guts in the correct way, we can actually control the process? You wouldn't want to rent it to me for a year, would you? You wouldn't be comfortable with that for a year. And let's see what he says. No, I could Oh, that's great. That's great. I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'm going to Google it. I have your number here. Um, I'll send you uh, my contact information. Uh, or you can, mine is, um, yeah, mine is Claude Diamond at Mac.com. Claude Diamond. Yeah, C L A U D E. Okay. Diamond, like a diamond ring at Mac, M A C dot com. And um, let me, let me do a little homework here and we can, let's talk, let's talk uh, tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. Hey, thank you. You're a real nice guy. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Yep. See you. Yep. How about that, Joe? <laughs> Was that, That's awesome. Did I know anything about this property? No. Let's let's break this down. Criticize me. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? And I'm not thin-skinned. I can take it. <laughs> well, you, what you did right was um, real friendly with him on the phone, but you got to the point pretty quick. How long were um, we... How long were, and let's show the people on this uh, video, where's my little, I'm missing my little three-minute timer, which I always have on my desk here. Okay, the bottom line here is to make yourself so comfortable in conversations. Common sense says that the more conversations that we have with people, where we're comfortable and they're comfortable, we're not playing the typical games where we're, you know, just trying to bully somebody or obviously manipulate them. Prospects have heard those scripts. They have heard those presentations forever. So if you sound like everyone else, don't expect a different result. It's almost like the definition of insanity, isn't it? The beauty of this whole process is that we, if we have enough comfortable conversations where we open up with agenda and ask permission or can we ask questions, we draw a roadmap. Uh, with the prospect. Then we go to the qualification step in the staircase. We get enough information. Then we get some kind of commitment. You would, with a reverse, uh, excuse me, with a redirection, a negative redirection, we will find out whether or not we can do, in this case, a rent to own with this person. And then we can move to a step two. I ended this a little premature because it was for demonstration purposes. In many cases, and I've seen my mentor used to close people in one phone call, and this is pretty close to exactly what he did. The questions he asked, the comfortable conversation. Imagine you spoke to a lot of nice people like this all day long. You will see the magic happen. And you will have the, you will, and if you speak to enough people, my rule of five every day, five new people every day, and follow up with those five people and make five offers and leave five voicemails and uh, do some social media, you will see the magic happen. This is Claude Diamond with my uh, review of a cold call on the gut sales method. You have a great day.